If you're starting to learn how to do cryptic crosswords, most people recommend the Thursday from the Sydney Morning Herald, and I agree, it's entry level and it's regarded as the easiest of the week. Some say that NS stands for no sweat. Why they publish them on Thursday, I'll never understand, but if you do them regularly, you're used to the schedule by now. I hadn't done a Thursday for a long time before I started doing this series, and having started recently, I've immediately decided to stop. And it's not because they're too easy. I don't mind an easy puzzle if the clues are fun and they're well crafted. I find the LRs on Monday really easy, but they're also an absolute delight. They're fun and witty and I don't want to suck up to them too much. They're good. To be honest, I find every crossword from the rest of the week quite easy, except for the Friday. I stopped doing the Thursday because... Ah, uh, let me show you. These are all the kinds of clues available to somebody who's writing a cryptic crossword. And here's last Thursdays. Get them feeling somehow. Anagram, from a briefest view, that's gonna be a uh, something, that'll be a, a guarantee, that'll be a some fleeting. No, it's eight, isn't it? So it'll be a fleeting, something, fleeting impression, yeah. Enjoy a great time, but I put evil out. Anagram, live it up. Back from southeast Kansas with certain reptiles, so that's snakes. <laughs> Irate cop with another anagram, rather theatrical, um, operatic anagram. She's an entertainer who, in going on stage, is hailing some fans. Uh, oh, wait a minute, singing, singing, singer. An entertainer who, in going on stage, is geisha. It's a uh, hidden. A drab three bent and becoming thin with age. It's an anagram of a drab three becoming thin with age. Look. Threadbare. Supporting, but in applying bad marks, we object. We object is going to be us. So it's going to be an adjective meaning supporting. Now I'll come back to it. Luda comes back to put in more factory stuff. Retool. Luda comes back, I guess. 100% on that. First bloke, you would say. Is that going to be a B and then a U? First bloke, you would say, a bit of a nuisance. He's from a Central European capital. That's going to be a... Budapest. Yeah. You would. You would say that's UD. UD. And then a bit of a nuisance is up next, and that's a Central European capital. The park equipment notice was falling back. Notice is an ad, was falling back? Oh, notice is C, to see something. You can get seesaw, was falling back is the saw. US city, so called, found in the job one gap, please close it. No, no, no idea. Get in portables, a new design. Get in portables and new design. It's going to be an anagram of that. Surgical equipment. Where are the nine letters? There's nine. And there's... Wait, it's new design. There's a signpost. So get in portables. Ah. It's operating tables. Boring! <laughs> Leaves of paper taken up from this oil of clothes. I hope fleeting is right. Get limp. Ugh. I'm just gonna do it. Get limp feelings. If we take fleeting out of that, we get that. Glimpse. Fle fleeting glimpse. There it is. Alright, great. So, uh, leaves of paper taken up from this oil of clothes. Oh, folios. It's a reverse hidden clue. The grudge is sick scene running about outside. Oh, that'll be envies? So scene is anagrammed, running about, outside of six in Roman numerals, which is the I. I and Dad, caught by brown snake. That'll be a taipan, surely. Tan is brown. I is I, dad is pa, and then N for the 10. Ugh, no sir, in cooking. Gee, I wonder if that's gonna be an anagram, but it's so healthy. That'll be nourishing. 
Yep. Nourishing. The imputation is the tavern you reported to fit. It doesn't even make sense. It does not even make sense. Imputation is the tavern you reported to finish with nothing. So is that is impute? Oh, is it innuendo? The tavern is the inn. You reported is you. To finish is to end, and then nothing is so. Broadcast inapt. Ask this Asian nation. Well, it's Pakistan. I don't know why. Inapt. Ask. Anagram. Another anagram. The French first. Victim inside needs improvement and to be subjugated. Well, it's going to be enslaved. The French is going to be La. First victim is the V, so you get Lav, and that's inside needs improvements and anagram needs changing to another protective agency with restraints i said you oh, it's just so baffling you find there's going to be ring changing so it's going to be hmm maybe that's not a u can't be certain yet another protective agency with restraints i said you find I said, me, me, uh, something ring, SOS, spree desert, oh, jeez, look at that's another anagram, let's get some coffee, that'll be espresso, wow, what a great idea, what, what are you going to do next, another anagram, sit in awe again, so to speak, sit in awe again, that's going to be as it were, so to speak, as it were, sit in, sit is just sit in or, and again is re, it's going to redo something, okay, dad nor mum accepts a wider view, that'll be, a dad is pa, nor is nor, and then, Accepts a right, so ma is mum, and then accepts a tomorrow. A guy takes an open assessment. <sighs> is tomorrow tea? Tem assessment? No, wait, open assessment could be a oh, well, wait, this is going to be manana. A guy is a man, and and then open assessment is a a writer, mate, and we correspond. That's so bad. That's meant to be a double meaning. A writer is pen, a mate is pal, and we correspond pen pal. It's the same meaning of the same. Tension and initial strain on the lock. That'll be stress. Initial, initial strain is the S and stress is the lock, as in locker here. Oh, a few more. Here we go. Supporting. That'll be sustaining then, right? Supporting, but in applied bad mark, bad marks is staining. And we object is the us, the us actually goes there, so it's not meant to necessarily. What is this? Change to another protective agency. Burn you ring. Burn, mm. US City, so called. That'll be the big apple. Found in job one gap, please close it. Job one gap. The job is BP, BPLE. Oh, it's just a hidden. The and the one is no. Right, that's the trickiest thing I've ever seen you do. What are we at? Eight minutes. All right. Well, let's try and finish this. What is agency with restraint? What's changing? I said you. With restraints. What are restraints? Pen. Ah, oh, I don't care. Pen U ring. Yeah, show me what's wrong with it. Those three, of course. Well, what's to be done about this? Who's got it? Someone tell me. Someone tell me what it is. I don't want to sit here for another minute. Changing to another protective. What's a protective agency? 
with restraints. What are restraints? Cuffs? With restraints, is that WH? Someone tell me what it is. Another picture. Reinsuring. All right, good. Should have got that faster. So you can see it's not really a good representation of a cryptic crossword. It's kind of limited in scope. So when people say they're a good place to start learning, I totally agree, but they're not gonna completely teach you how to do a cryptic. They're only really gonna teach you anagrams and charades, and if you're lucky, a couple of other kinds of clue. Now, I don't wanna make a bigger deal of this than it is, but it's always been a bugbear of mine when I see people not giving their all to their work. I've got a long streak of perfectionism, and it's quite a hindrance most of the time, but it has enabled me to produce some work that I'm very proud of, albeit too few and far between. Now it's their job to write these crosswords for one of the biggest papers in the country, and I feel like they're kind of phoning it in. Now, as a millennial, I believe it's my generation's experience that there's not as much work available as there used to be, whilst people of the older generation sit quite comfortably in jobs that they can't be fired from because they're basically rusted onto the company and nobody's challenging them, particularly in media. Meanwhile, we scrounge in a gig economy, waiting to inherit a dying planet that's been killed by the very generation that are sitting comfortably in those jobs, and they're not even bothering to do them properly. Am I saying that the quality of these puzzles represents the intergenerational warfare brought about as a direct result of late-stage capitalism? Perhaps. Perhaps not. Ah, look, I'm just jealous. I'd love to write the crosswords for the Sydney Morning Herald. I think I'd really enjoy it and I'd put a lot of love into it. And when I do the Thursdays, I get the impression they don't even enjoy making them. But I'm sure NS is lovely and I don't want to be too overly critical. A bit late for that though. I'm just going to start writing a lot more crosswords and I'll set up a Google alert for when you retire. <laughs>